morning everybody today I am going to start with my final mission inspiration and um, what that means is as follows I have printed out all mission inspirations throughout the whole year so from January till December and I'm going to make a sort of um, a final mission inspiration. This idea came from Linda Thompson. I watched her video and she took one prompt of each month and make that her mission inspiration. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm uh, only I am going to take 12 prompts because there are 12 months so I'm going to take the first one of um, January so that will be prompt one and for February I'm going to take number two for March number three April number four May number five and so on and so on now there are only 10 prompts and I have 12 months so I allow myself for the last two months so that is November and December to pick one of my own choice so and that will wrap up all the mission inspirations uh, of 2016 a sort of a celebration and a thank you uh, for um, my deacon who set up the uh, the Facebook group so I'm gonna s going to speed things up and maybe do a voice over so um, well let's go and start Starting with January 2016, the first step is apply patent on the paper or tissue. I'm working on a piece of watercolor paper, an A5 size, and uh, I am using a piece of scrapbook paper. Uh, with a little scissor, I distre distress the edges and then inking the edges with uh, a Stazon black ink. Uh, also make a few tears and because of this scrapbook paper being a little bit smaller than the surface that I'm working on I am adding some washi tape uh, to the edges And then using a Mod Podge to glue down the piece of scrapbook paper. For February I take step two and that is add torn magazine advert fragments. So I took out a few magazines uh, of flow and happiness and I tear out some pieces that had the color red on them. Deciding where I'm going to put it all. And using a mod parch to stick it down to my page. Then we go to March and step 3 says add illegible scribbled words. Um, using my Posca white marker to scribble down some text. For April, step four, add paint or color spritz. And this is a liquid text acrylic ink. I'm adding a few drops to the page and then spray it with water and move the page a bit to make it drip. Thank you. 
and I'm using a red and a blue color for this. And for May 2016, step five, add texture with a modeling paste. And I'm using the Tim Holtz stencil, um, I believe it's called Bubble, and the Liquid Text modeling paste. And I try to color the paste with the acrylic ink, but that turned out all pinkish and I wanted it to be a bit more bright red so this is the artiste acrylic paint the color rouge and with applying uh, some texture to the top part of the page I wasn't very happy with it I had a, had hoped to be it a bit more crisp but that will be covered up mostly uh, with uh, some other stuff later on so and this is a stencil from the crafters workshop the mini tile texture For June, step six, add your focal images. And I'm using um, a lace heart and then a little a wooden heart to go on top of that. And the piece of fabric um, that goes underneath is um, a jute. I'm not sure what the English word for that is. Burlap, it's burlap, yes. I'm sticking that down with the golden gel medium because it's a bit of a stronger glue, which works better for heavier stuff. And then July, step seven, stamp image or patterns. And this is a stamp set by Indigo Blue called Ink Splats. And I'm stamping with the Stazon black ink pad. And this is a stamp, a script uh, stamp from Joy Crafts. August, step eight, add shadows and highlights with black and white. Uh, using again the Posca white and black marker plus a Faber Castell Artist Pit Pen in black to add some shadowing across um, uh, at the heart.
and for September step 9 at Doodle, Scribbles or Zentangles I'm just going to write uh, a bit more text on that because I lost something with uh, during the process so I'm adding a bit more text October Finish with drips or splatters. So I'm not finishing because I need two more steps to do. But uh, for this I use a white acrylic spray paint. And then November I get to choose my own prompt. And for this one I choose a journaling quote or phrase. Now I found the perfect phrase uh, in a magazine. Um, that says the beginning till the end includes everything well it's in Dutch because this was a Dutch magazine but that's what it means the beginning till the end includes everything so I thought it was perfect for this uh, final mission inspiration and gluing this down with a Mod Podge and then outlining with the Posca white marker And for December, I pick, picked out step eight, apply a little bling or sparkle. And I'm doing that with uh, the stickles, gold stickles from Ranger, just to uh, highlighting the heart and a few dots here and there. So this is a wrapping up of all the mission inspirations of 2016 with a big thank you uh, for you Mike Deacon for setting up the Facebook group and making these uh, great challenges I really really enjoyed doing them so that's about it for my page I will leave you some links in the description box uh, so you can visit the Facebook group as well as my deacon's challenge so that's it for me now guys thank you and hope to see you soon bye bye